One horn. The stink of Avernus. Advocatus Diaboli. Well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Karlak, the Archdevil Zeriel's gladiator. Come to burn the Sword Coast to ash. If by met you mean hoofing it through the hells with this fucker on my tail. Shut it, devil. I know your kind. A heart darker than a shadow's nightmares. You'd cut a child's throat just to taste the blood. A devil? I didn't take the blade for a fool. I'm... A great fire roars through you. The fire of the first hell. You are Karlak, tearing through demons across a blood-red landscape of fire and volcanic cinder. The front lines of the blood war. With every swing of her axe, Karlak fulfills Mistress Zariel's purpose. Proof! Clear as summer sky. It's over, Karlak. It's time you feel the sting of the blade. I've tried to tell you. I'm not what you think I am. Another vision. Karlak's blade rays slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Will shudders with Karlak's desperation. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. By Baldurin's helm, I... No, I will not be tricked. You saw the truth. I may be an effective soldier, but I never wanted to serve Zariel. Legged it away from her the first chance I got. And yet you served. No! Devils cannot be trusted! Would you listen to sense? This doesn't have to end badly for either of us. You know monsters better than anyone. Can't you look in my eyes and see I'm not a devil? You don't know what this means. You don't know what you're asking me to do. I'm asking you to live, Will. I don't want to hurt you. And to be frank, I'd rather not find out how the Blade got his name. I swear to you, on all I am, I'm not what you think. Shit! Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I see the good in you, Karlak. I promise not to lose sight of it. Even when the hells burn hottest. Glad Will saw sense. Even more glad he decided to stick around. Takes a pretty slick mover to track down old Karlak. Same. Now, instead of a liability, I've got a friend. Or... I will have Sue, anyway. Light on my feet. <laughs> Nothing like a little camp drama to spice up the evening. <laughs> it's almost a pity things ended so amicably. Seeing those two duke it out would be fun. I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Cazador has control of me, body and soul, and I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Cazador.
You're familiar with the phrase, better the devil you know. I know, Cazador. And I'll take anything that saves me from that. Good thing for Will that Karlak called a truce. A tiefling that mighty would shred him to pieces and burn the remains. Now, what did you need? You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. I can say only this. Karlak's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. One night soon, when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. You're not in any danger, I promise. I can't say the same about me. Thank goodness that's all dealt with. The odds are stacked high enough against us already. No need to turn on each other. We all have our burdens, one way or the other. Think of it as tribute, the kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. Like Will and Karlak will play nice from now on. Saves us having to pick sides. Fine. What's on your mind? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them.
Well met. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. And just when things were warming up. Hey, soldier. Trust me, I'll tell you all about it after we take care of the goons on my tail. Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? It wasn't all that long ago. I never knew the whole of how and why, but I remember the devil slavering with delight. I should have looked after the Elterans more. Gone out of my way to make sure they were all right. The long and short of it was, I didn't want to risk my neck. I let them get on with the nightmare, same as I had to. But Avernus is no place for decent folk. I'm glad they got out. So glad. <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be, trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? I can picture you getting mixed up in some outrageous shit. Giants, beholders, <laughs> Thayans, the works. Maybe once we've wrapped up the current shenanigans, we'll rest a bit and find some new heap of troubles to throw ourselves at. Hey, soldier. Yeah, let's go straight there. Whatever those fucks are getting up to, it's nothing good. Just to say, by the way, they're not really paladins. Lackeys of the Archdevil playing dress-up as paladins of Tyr. No honor among devils. Hell yes. What's on your mind? I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki Zathis can cleanse an embedded tadpole. It is done.
I'll give it a shot. Sleeping eyes. Grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. He should never have been here in the first place. I'm the one that talked him into joining the fist. A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Please, just leave me be. I hear shouting. Someone needs help. Excellent armor. Strange place to find it. Trapped inside. Can't you see the inn is burning? Help or get out of the way. Grand Duke Raven Guard could be inside. Don't just stand there. Push. much time. Looking. And these things are still interesting. Come! I'm afraid Papa thanks must wait. we 
Fresh air. At last. Your boldness is a blessing. I'm in your debt. Counselor, are you all right? It takes more than mere fire to break me, Eva. Now listen close, Fist. Duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Gauntlet, report to the manor and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Counselor. The rest of you, count the dead. Take word of their sacrifice to this city. And you, I must ask again for your aid. Please, rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. The Council will reward you for your effort. May I trust you'll see it through? A champion indeed. He's the invisible force holding Baldur's Gate together. Without him, the city faces collapse. In fact, I fear that may have been the intention of those who abducted him. By the time aid arrives, it might be too late. You've the heart of a dragon and the will of a hero. Tell me I can count on you. Thank you. And should your courage falter, remember the Duke's generosity. Go. You should pick up the drow trail with ease. I will seek reinforcements and join you when I can. Fist, to work. <laughs> 